Hello, my name is Scott Inger. Welcome, welcome to your seventh Blender tutorial. In this tutorial, I should be showing you how to make a. a we're going to make a cylinder and we're going to export it and then we're going to color it. So let's open up Blender and we're going to just press delete and enter to get rid of our default. Uh, oh, what happened there? I think Blender crashed. Uh, okay, so now we're going to press delete and enter. And now we just have our blank space and our camera and light here. So what we want to do? We want to set it up so we're right here. Okay. And we want to put space, mesh, and we're going to want to do cylinder. And we're just going to leave everything default there. And as we can see, it's all uh, built and everything for us. So we're going to want to go and we're going to actually want to go into, we're going to press 1 and 5. Or no, we're going to not press 5. Or if you guys don't have the grid, you're going to want to press 5. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to press. Uh, we're gonna go into. Uh, we're gonna go into edit mode by pressing tab. Tab, and then we're gonna press G, Control, or Z, Control, and that'll snap it to the thing. And we're just gonna put it on top of this red line right here. And now we're completely on top, so we're just going to plus one again. Or actually, no, we're not going to plus one. We're going to press Z to make it s solid. Or somewhat solid. Okay. We're going to press this button right here, which will make it solid so we can't see through it. We're going to click here. And now we're going to create our little. Uh, our. Thing. So we're going to click there, and then we're going to want to click. We're actually going to want to cl click here, and I'll click, and it's going to uh, select that entire uh, top edge. We're going to hit Control E and Mark Seam. And then we're going to click here, Control E, Mark Seam. And we're going to want to go down here and Alt right click. And we're going to control E and mark seam. Now we're going to want to click right or right click here and split area. And it's going to split in half. And then we're going to click on this. Now we're going to go to UV image editor. And we're going to press A once and then press it twice. We're going to press U and unwrap. And now our image is unwrapped over here. So what we want to do now is we want to click UVs and scripts. Save UV face layout. We're going to save it as uh, 1024 pixels because I don't want to have to worry about more pixels than that. I'm going to just click OK. And I'm going to save this to my desktop. I don't want to save this as a TG or whatever. I guess I'm stuck saving this as a TGA. We're just going to name this cylinder. Return and save. And I'm going to bring up the command. And it finished exporting already. So we can minimize that. We can minimize Blender. And here's our. Uh, Cylinder, so we want to open up GIMP. If, if you guys haven't checked out my GIMP tutorials, you might want to go check out this. Uh, those out soon. And we're just going to open GIMP, and then we're going to click the cylinder. We're going to drag that on over. We're going to maximize GIMP, and we're going to move this to a box so I can get to the... Uh, the, uh, the zoom. And then I'm going to want to change to fill mode. I'm going to change my color. 
I just want to change it to let's make it red. Okay, put red, 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 all, all along this, and then I think I'm gonna want to. Yeah, this sounds like a good idea to me. So once I'm done filling up this area. We're going to click on a s gray because we don't have silver. I was going to use silver, but we're going to fill in all of these up here. And then fill the bottom with the same color. You know, I probably could have done this. I could have probably made merged all these into the same exact spot on there so it would be nice and easy. Because we already have the color selected we can close that and we're going to just click with the middle wheel so we can slide through it. Why did it change? Oops. It was that color wasn't it? Yes. So we're going to click OK. And we... Oopsies. We're going to unclick and Control Z that so we don't mess anything up and then we're just going to do the whole thing with that. I'm not going to say this is a, a, a secondary uh, uh, file. I'm just going to say uh, overwrite the whole file because I don't want to have to waste that space on my desktop. And as you may be able to see, this is going. This kind of looks like it might be a soda can of some type. So we're just going to click up here. I'm going to click File and Save and that's all we need to do. We can close GIMP. Oops, not that. And then we're going to close the GIMP. We're going to go into Blender. And we're going to click uh, Image, Open. And we're going to go to our desktop. We click on this thing right here, Desktop. And we're going to click on the cylinder.tga and open image. And now we can see that it's all lined up on there, so we're going to go into object mode. And then we're going to click over here in textured. And now we have our textured, I guess you could call it a soda can. Well, thank you guys for watching. I think I'm going to be switching to uh, a newer version of Blender, so I get, might just start these tutorials all over. I'm sorry for the inconvenience to any of you guys who are using Blender 2.49b but the features that uh, 2.6 and 2.61 are much nicer so I'll see you guys in the next tutorial thank you guys for watching and I appreciate you guys watching so much please like or share with your friends if you want to I'll see you guys next time bye